Hello, this is Brianna. Hi, Brianna. What's on your mind? Um, I agree with you on, you know, they're doing it for sport, but my also my other main concern is, you know, just bring my, they're bringing back Mother Minute Registry, but they're worried about the black site. They're going to be basically be banning all refugees. They have Mike Pompeo. They have, mm-hmm. what's his name, John Bolton, mm-hmm. Maddox. And what all have, and not only that, he's basically a Netanyahu group, and he's basically kidnapped kidnapping mm-hmm. out his ring, what's all going to that lead up to? I mean, in the what extreme, <laughs> in the extreme, I mean, it, it really is, is, is creating a, the perfect environment for even greater radicalization of people. It's, I mean, we're setting ourselves up for some massive blowback on, in the international community. But go ahead, finish your thought. Yeah. And not only that, I also feel that it's also setting up out maybe six months, a year down the road, we're going to a war with Iran. Hmm. Yeah. Got all those, they need people to fill up those black sites. So <laughs> Yeah. I, I, I can't disagree with that, to- right? Um thanks for the call, Brianna. Uh I don't disagree with that n- mainly because they are looking to undo the Iran deal, the nuclear deal, right? they they are looking to give Iran um the ability, not only the ability, but the um, impetus or the, the driving force to go back and, and start pursuing their nuclear ambitions, right? I mean, they're, they're getting rid of the deal <laughs> and they're creating a volatile situation, even more volatile than it already is. So yeah, they do want, they do want a conflict with Iran. I, I, I don't see why else would they un, I mean, really now, I do have another reason why else they would do this. The other reason they would do it is simply just to undo anything that President Obama did. So not only only are they willing to do these dangerous things internationally to for sport, they're also willing to risk international stability just to try to stick it to Obama. I got bad news for you, Republicans. Obama's gone. He's gone surfing. He's gone golfing. He doesn't give a shit about you guys anymore. I mean, I'm sure he cares on some level. But if you are undermining global stability, which ultimately is going to blow back in the next four years, right? Don't think for a second that, oh, that Trump is going to get four years without some type of international situation, domestic situation. Like there's, there's blowback to be had sooner rather than later. And you're willing to set up this situation perfectly so that this happens just so that you can stick it to Obama I mean, politi- I get the politics side of it. You're trying to play to your base. I totally get that, right? Um, I don't agree with it because you're going to undermine the, the security of the United States. I get that, but you can't be that dumb. <laughs> yes, they can. But you would think that they would see past the politics, the political gain that they get, the initial political gain that they get, and ask themselves, is this good policy? And I don't think in any sensible world they can actually say that this is good policy for the long run. All they could say is this, this is good policy. Polit- this is good politics for right now because he has to deliver on every fleeting uh, uh, campaign promise that he gave. 